Hey everyone! Welcome to the first video on this channel, Prism Platinum. I'm so nervous filming this but so excited as well because I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and I love watching people's K-pop collection videos, unboxings, like hauls, so I'm really excited to be starting this channel and I thought it would be a really great place to also document some of the behind the scenes and exciting projects for my shop. So for those of you who are new to this channel, Prism Platinum is my shop dedicated to selling products for collectors and traders. So think the likes of sleeves, binders, which are coming soon. Um, and I'll leave a link out down below if you guys want to check it out. I didn't know what I wanted to do for the first video on this channel, so I thought a Q&A would be a good one to kick things off. I asked a bunch of questions on my TikTok and Instagram and I have them here with me today so I will try to answer them um, and I didn't want to make it just a video of me talking and waving my hands around so I'm going to put a bunch of BTS photo cards that I have here while I answer some of your questions and I thought it'd also be a good opportunity to share with you guys a really exciting product coming to my shop. So October 22nd I have nine pocket holographic pages coming to my shop so i'm going to be using some of this in my collection and talking more about it later in my video so stay tuned so this first binder i have here is my boy group album binder which houses bts albums stray kids and hyphen and wavy so i do have a few bts album pieces i need to put away so going on this is just one of the sleeves that I already started using on my nine pocket holographic pages. First question I received was, will you be releasing a new holo sleeve? Yes, I will be. Um, I'm currently waiting for it to come and arrive to my house, but as soon as it arrives, I will be sharing the design with you guys. Next question is, are you planning to sell different size sleeves to fit some larger BCs? Yes, this is currently in the works. It's just taking a little longer with everything going on in the world and I'm the type of person who has to test and review products to make sure I'm happy with it before I can sell it in my shop. So I've been trialing out a bunch of sleeves and just like different thicknesses and we're almost there. So please watch this space, it's coming soon. Don't want to drop hints but it could potentially be for PCs this size. So watch this space. <laughs> So this first page I have JK's Butter album pieces which oh my goodness I'm so happy to be finally finishing out his set. I joined a group order for this and I ended up getting Namjoon, Tae and JK, I mean Namjoon, Tae and Jimin and I couldn't find a trade for JK so I ended up buying his set but I'm glad I'm finally done with bias line for this because I love, like I love this set so much. It's so stinking adorable. On to the next question, what's the best place to buy and trade PCs from? How do you trade in Australia? Okay, so moving on to this, I have some Butter Lucky drawers, which I have Tasteful set here, so Power Station, MTU and Soundwave, and I wasn't able to do Bias Line because it was kind of expensive, so I just chose a set that I really liked from them, and it was the Power Station one, so I decided to pick up JK, Namjoon and Taze. So where to buy trade PCs? So for anyone that doesn't know, I'm based in Sydney, Australia. And for when I first started collecting, I joined a bunch of Facebook groups. Trust me when I say I did not think Facebook would be the place to grow my collection, but I believe there are various ones depending on where you're from, but there are buy, sell and trade groups. For example, in Australia, there's a buy, sell and trade K-pop Australia group um, and they have specific group ones as well. So buy, sell and trade BTS, buy, sell and trade Stray Kids, for example. And well, you can join these groups and people who want to sell or trade PCs or anything in particular related to K-pop, they will post it in these groups. And it's a great place to start so you don't end up paying like inflated prices and a lot of the times I like when I started collecting people were downsizing their collection and just getting rid of some of the PCs which I was able to kind of pick up PCs I was missing so I highly suggest um, checking them out as well bid sales are really co common in these groups where people list their items up for sale and then you bid on it and the highest bidder wins so again I've bought a lot of my PCs from these groups and have won a lot of PCs through bid sales so that's the lucky draws done which yeah, I had to get double tape because I just couldn't leave this one on its own. <laughs> so 
So moving on to the next page. So this page I have the film strips from Weavers, which I have Taze, which he looks really, really cute. I love him with the brown hair. He's so adorable. And then Jimin's is so cute as well, which I received from my group order and I'm obsessed with him and these glasses. He looks so stinking adorable. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. I am trying to find a trade for JK, but if I can't buy one, I'm actually quite happy to keep Jimin because I think he's so adorable in this. <laughs> now for trading in Australia, I would suggest, again, you can look on Facebook because the groups that I just mentioned earlier, they allow you to post up PCs you would like to trade for and then people can message you if they want to trade. Or otherwise you can look at Instagram as well, but you just have to be really careful with Instagram because trading worldwide, especially with mail being slow and like lots of lost mail, you don't want to really risk it. And um, there's a lot of scammers out there. You can also browse through the hashtags, which I didn't know this was a thing. And like no one told me when I first started trading and selling but you can kind of look through the hashtag. So if people are selling PCs, they would usually hashtag WTS, which stands for want to sell. So for example, they would hashtag want to sell BTS. And if they're looking to sell a BTS photo card, and if they're looking to trade, they will hashtag want to trade, which is WTT and put BTS afterwards. And you can find this for like most K-pop groups, so like WTS BTS or WTS Blackpink. So I would highly suggest just sifting through the hashtags as well if you're looking for trades. So that's it for the film strips. Now on to this page. I never thought this day would come and I would actually do and commit this, but I have decided to pick up Japanese albums for BTS and Map of the Soul 7 Journey has been out for a year now. and. I think the prices have dropped down on these, which is why I've been able to do buy signs. So I'm glad I was able to finish out their set for this. And I think these PCs are so adorable. So I have this and I've popped them in the holographic sleeves. So these are really, really cute. And I particularly like the selfie ones. <laughs> Next question is advice for newbie collectors. Well, I could make a whole video on this, but I will share my top three advice. So the first thing I would give you as an advice is think carefully about your, what you want to collect. A lot of companies now um, know that if they just put a PC with any item, fans will most likely buy the item. And where is the lie? So think about what you want to collect. Like I don't collect promotional PCs and um, cause I just find it just so much keeping up with just their like albums and merch already. So Think about what you want to collect and I think that will be a lot more manageable and for me myself I like to focus on album, DVD and Blu-ray photo cards so that has made it a lot more enjoyable for me so just don't overwhelm yourself especially when you're starting out your collection. Next tip is to start with the latest album or comeback. Um, there'll be a lot more people like trading for it and there'll be a lot more PCs in circulation so it'll be a lot easier for you to finish one member and then potentially pick up another member if you want to collect more than one. And I think this makes it a lot more fun and not so overwhelming, especially if you're just like, I want to collect OT7 BTS for every single album and then just kind of like collecting a PC here, collecting a PC there, which again, because the sheer size of it can be very overwhelming, you can get demotivated very quickly. So this is so cute. Oh my god, I'm so glad I picked up Japanese albums. Even though my bank account is crying, I think these PCs are so cute. Now onto this page, which I have BTS the best album PCs, which I waited for this to be released to then decide if I wanted to collect it. And I only chose um, two PC sets that I wanted to collect. So I chose the regular edition and the fan club edition because I really like the photo cards from this. And I'm going to be using this with my holographic nine pocket sleeves these are pages which have a holographic print on them and they're pvc and acid free so you don't have to double sleeve it to get the holographic effect this is on a clear sleeve and you can just put it in here and you'll get the holographic effect which i am obsessed with and i'm so happy that i was able to get this for my shop so they're launching from october 22nd so please check out my shop if you're interested in these now for the third advice that I have for a newbie collector, it would have to be, okay, now I just need to sort out where I want to put. I think I'm going to put the regular edition first and then the fan club. 
be it. Let's do like this. The third advice I have is, I know I personally struggle with this sometimes, this own advice that I'm going to be giving you, but just understanding that it's okay to not have every single PC. Like I said at the beginning, there's just so many PCs out there, it can be really hard to keep up. And even for me collecting Tay, I'm struggling to finish some of these older sets, but I'm okay with that. And even for the Japanese albums, for example, I only chose the two sets I like, and there's like two, the other two, which I will never own, but I'm okay with that. And I think coming to terms and being okay with that will make collecting a lot more enjoyable. Whereas if you're constantly trying to get every single PC they release, it will become really overwhelming. And yeah, you just kind of, get so overwhelmed by the end of it you wouldn't want to collect anything and that's no fun and collecting should be fun so I think that is something you should keep in mind and then I think I'm just gonna put these ones here okay I think that looks cute let's do this next question I received was how much do you usually pay when trading pcs um this depends I guess did you mean in terms of postage or supplies for postage I always opt for track shipping in Australia which starts from $3.05 but stamp starts from $1.10 and in terms of supplies you can get a lot of affordable supplies I get a lot of mine from Daiso um, but Kmart has some really good cheap supplies like envelopes and like cards to use as reinforcement so I think it can be anywhere from um, like three to four dollars so I highly suggest checking that out but I hope that answers your question next question is where do you get your binders from i get all of my binders from officeworks which is a stationery store in australia if you're going to buy a brand new binder get a thicker binder because you will quickly outgrow your smaller binder and you will just save money buying a bigger binder and going into it trust me because i have so many smaller binders which i've outgrown and cannot use anymore but this is the Japanese album which looks so stinking cute and I'm obsessed with these holographic sleeves. I think they look so cute for this set. This is probably my favourite, my new favourite set because I just love all the photos in this. Okay, that's it for album PCs. Now I'm just going to grab my second binder and we can put the remaining PCs in. Okay, so this is my second binder, which is everything non-PTS album related. So it's quite thick and I have a few things to put away today, so we'll see how we go. Um, but the next question on the list is, when did you know that you wanted to do sleeves for PC and have a company? This is a great question. Thank you so much for this. Um, I started my collection in August last year with BTS and I was trying to find some supplies for my collection just some fun things to kind of decorate it up make it a bit more fun and i found holographic sleeves which i found weren't really accessible in australia and i was like well i hope well i feel like everyone else would be really interested in this i'm just gonna try and get rid of the glare on this um yeah people would be interested in this and then i found out that a lot of other people were trying to look for something for their collection so i decided to open up my shop and i'm so grateful every day for the support in the last couple of months and it's with all the support that I've received that I've been able to get some really exciting projects up from the ground, including the Nine Pocket Holographic pages. So I'm really, really thankful for that. And thank you so much for everyone's support on that. Okay, we're back. My battery decided to die halfway through the video, which is a great start to my first video, but we're back now. We're back and this should be all good now. So the next question I received was, do you have a trade other account? Love your shop, just type for cash and want to support a different way. Okay, so for this page, I'm going to be putting away some really cute Tay photo cards, which, oh my goodness, these are some of the cutest ones I have. His pajama butter cardigan and his third merch box, I believe, which this hat is so freaking cute on him. So yes, I do have a buy, sell and trade account. I've never disclosed it on Prism Platinum or anywhere if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I've just kept it private and I think some of you who are following me on my trading account might be already following me on my shop but at the moment I think I'm just going to keep it private and one day when I'm ready I might share it with you guys. So that's that. I ran out of eight pockets so I'm currently using a six pocket for this Tay PCs until I can get some more. The next question is any tips on collecting rare PCs, how to avoid getting scammed? 
my tips for collecting rare pieces. So, so the next thing I'm going to be putting away is these Tay mini pieces, which I don't know why I started collecting these set because it was so difficult to find and I'm still missing two of these PCs but I have two of JK so I'm just going to put JK in there for now until I find it but I have three of the PCs here which um, I'm so thankful are legit because I was so scared I was going to be scammed but they are the real deal so I'm going to pop them in. So for rare PCs, I think my first tip is to think about the limit. Rare PCs can be really expensive and you kind of have to draw a line in the sand of how much you're willing to spend and be realistic about it. So whether it's yes, you're willing to spend that much and you're willing to buy that PC for that much and if you're not because it's too expensive, then maybe coming to terms that, you know, you don't need that PC or, you know, if you want to wait it out until the right price comes up, just depends. I'm still looking for JK's New York Blu-ray and someone was selling this for 250 Australian dollars and I couldn't justify that much for it so I passed on passed up on it despite it being re-released so I don't know if I'll ever own it but I've come to terms with not owning it so that's the first tip and the second tip is keeping up to date with current market prices so I think even if you're not looking to buy the PC like tomorrow I think just browsing the hashtag of like want to sell BTS and checking if anyone's listing it and what they're asking for just keeping up to date with prices so that if it ever does come up for a good deal you can grab it up um, and I think the third tip would be following selling accounts so there's quite a few um, well-known reseller accounts on Instagram that um, I follow just to kind of see what they're selling and the prices they're going for so if I do see a photo card that I want that they're listing I'll just keep it in mind and then um, use that as a benchmark of how much I should be expecting to pay otherwise sometimes they can list PCs for a good deal because they want to get rid of it real quick and you might be able to snag it up so I highly suggest that as well so that's this set done for now because we're putting JK in there now flipping on I think I have just some yeah, so this page, which I have these postcards to put away, which I joined to go for. And this Tay postcard is so stunning. I'm just speechless by it. Like, stunning. Just super stunning. And then I also had to get the units because Bias Line, I really went out with this merch drop because of Bias Line. And I think they're so cute in this. Next question is, where do you find your binder sleeves? I'm in Australia and can't find them anywhere. Andy Jack doesn't restock anymore and now my PCs are all in a box. Um, I feel you on this. I just used the six pocket page for an eight, like an eight, a small mini PC. So I understand the struggle. I'm constantly just checking the shop to see when it's restocked. And I feel like a lot of collectors do post when he does restock. Otherwise you can always just check out eBay for like ultra pro sleeves, which you can use as an alternative until Andy Jack restocks. <laughs> okay, now on to the exciting part. So the next question is, how do you know when a trader is selling, trader or seller is selling fakes? So this one's a hard one because I feel like a lot of the replicas are getting so good, it's so hard to tell the difference between them. I, for one, try to buy from reputable sellers, so anyone with clickable proofs on the Instagram. And if you do check the proofs and you see like the person's name in it, I have on many occasions messaged us message the buyer in the proof being like hey have you bought from this person is it a legit pc did you have a good experience just to kind of get their feedback and you'd be surprised a lot of people are willing to help you out being like yes they're legit you should buy from them or like no i had a really bad experience so i highly suggest doing that there is also a legit page i think on the facebook group in australia in particular so a legit k-pop Page where I think people have posted photo cards and asked for a second opinion being like hey this is a legit photo card um, has anyone else owned this photo card and can give me advice and a lot of people have been like yes I can send you videos of it to kind of sh compare with the one they're looking at to buy otherwise I think ask for as many photos and videos as you can from the seller or trader and then share it with your friends or any collectors you know who own the PC because then you can just get another sense check and get a second opinion um, before you proceed with the sale or the trade so this page I have Tay and Namjoon's DVD memories which 
so stinking cute and i joined a group order to hopefully get get jk so i'm just waiting for that to arrive and the next question is do you have tighter fit sleeves at the moment if you don't are you planning on selling tighter fit sleeves yes we are at the moment it's just taking some time because it's been delayed but it is coming up guys just watch this space and the next pc i have is the blu-ray the 2020 blu-ray which i pulled tay's butamus blu-ray but also can we talk about this namjoon blu-ray which is just stunning and then on top of that can we also please just talk about namjoon's mots one blu-ray pc which was released today and i am speechless i just i i have no words it's probably my favorite favorite pc of namjoon of all time and i'm really hoping fingers crossed that i pull him in my own copy so yeah that is just a flawless stunning pc so I have Namjoon and Taze for 2020 Blu-ray and I joined a group order to hopefully get JK so we'll see if he comes through. Now on to the next question is where is most expensive PC in your collection? Okay I'm gonna put away the last PC and maybe I can dig through my binder to find. But the last PC is this Mods 1 DVD JK PC which of course the one PC I buy preemptively because I thought I wasn't gonna pull him he decides to come home. but. I think this is my favourite JK PC to date, I just think he looks stunning in this and I loved his performance of this so I'm gonna pop it here. I'm still deciding whether I want to do bias line for Map of the Soul 1 book so I'm just gonna pop him there for now but I do have Tay's set complete. Now going back to the question, where is most expensive PC in your collection? So I think rare as in like it's not many in circulation and then most expensive. So I think most expensive would either have to be the Blu-rays, so I think the Europe Blu-rays or the New Yorks, but I think there was a reprint of this. I don't know if it's just as expensive because I haven't been looking at the prices or the 2018 Blu-ray and most rare. I think most rare because I haven't personally seen it in circulation since I've started collecting is probably Tay's Armorpedia PC, which he looks so freaking cute here. I love this PC of him. It's so adorable. I really want to get JKs and I'm kind of regretting not getting JKs back then when I first started collecting but this Tay PC is probably one of my favourite. And rare as well I think would probably have to be my Tay Spring Day Broadcast PC which I searched the seven C's for this because Spring Day has so much meaning to me. I came for the Wings Tour in Sydney and I was just, yeah, I love their performance of it. I love everything about that song. And I really, really want, I really, really, I really, really want bias line for this broadcast set. But JK is going for astronomical prices. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to achieve that, but I'm really happy and thankful I've been able to get Tay. So that's probably my rarest PC in my collection. But that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for everyone who has submitted questions and has watched this video to the end um if you like this video please subscribe and leave a comment below i'm hoping i can update this channel more with more about my shop and more about my collection but hopefully i'll be able to see you guys in my next video thanks so much bye